jump in your car, head to your local thrift store, and buy yourself a white bed sheet. Next, you're going to want to bleach that bed sheet and put it through the dryer because you don't know where it's been. After you've done all that, you're going to want to take it to the ironing board and fold it in half and then iron it out. Now grab your scissors, measure 45 inch width across and cut off that excess material. Once you have it all cut out to a 45 inch width, you're going to want to measure your body and whatever your height is or the length you prefer, cut it there. I can't remember what I cut mine at. It's better to go longer and shorten it later than to go too short. Pin the top edge so that your sheet doesn't move around and measure 7 inches in from each edge. From the innermost marking from your 7 inch mark there, you're going to want to draw a weird oval half oval kind of thing. It's essentially going to be your neckline and it's going to be about three inches deep. I really don't know how to explain it well, so just look at this video and watch intently. Now fold it in half like so and cut away. You're folding it in half so that the cut is equal on each side. Now, after that stressful event and terrible explanation, make sure to cradle the nearest animal. I am not kidding around. <laughs> Get it? Okay, back on track. So now, you're going to want to measure another four inches down from their original line and only cut it out on one side. This will be the front of your chemise. You want it to get low, get low, get low, get low for that neckline. Get it? It's a song. I am a liar, a big liar. Do not go three inches down from the first three inches. Go an inch and a half down. I didn't realize I could zoom in and see what I did here. Don't listen to me. And now we are sewing the top of the shoulders closed. And I just want to profusely apologize for lying about the measurements. I couldn't remember them, so I was just guessing from looking at the screen. And then I realized I could zoom in and give you the correct information. I will forever use this feature to figure out what I was doing and not just make stuff up. I promise. Never again. Also, this is what the shoulder should look like. Finished. That's the wrong side. Now, in the place below the shoulder where your arm would regularly be, you're going to want to measure 11 inches down from the top of the shoulder. And then sew from the 11 inch mark all the way down to the end. Do this on each side, unless one side was the fold, and in that case, you're going to want to cut the armhole open. Because you didn't sew it, you just folded it that way. And now, there's no room for an armhole, so cut 11 inches down, if that's the case. Oh, not me pretending to be a damsel in distress. Ah. And a quick intermission that no one asked for. Pleat that chemise until it fits you. 
because as you could tell, it was horrendously oversized. Once you've pleated your chemise so that it fits you to your liking, you're going to want to stitch those pleats into place. Time for the sleeves. Make sure you go larger than smaller. You can't add fabric. Well, you can, but you don't want to. So go larger, it's better. You can take them in afterwards. Sew the sleeves so that they are closed. And put it inside of your chemise with the right side of the materials facing each other. And then sew around the circumference of the sleeve. If you're using a plain white material and you don't know what I mean by right sides together, make sure that the sides that don't have the exposed seams are facing each other. Then to finish the hemline, you're going to want to use bias tape and just do that all the way along the top. 